Greetings, friends. Greetings, and how are you, bloggers? Today, I'm going to implement Mag News onto my blogger blog. Um, we're going to do it exactly as the designer has specified. So let's get started. So we have this here, this uh, blog. Um, I'm going to change it to uh, a magazine. I'm not happy with the setup. So let's get started. Now, the first, this is a bit different to um, normal bloggers because of the way they want it uh, implemented with the theme on how to upload the theme. There's a couple of things they want you to remove every widget at the back end first and I know why that is because I've already experimented with this on another blog and if you don't remove all the widgets some can be left on the new blog and you can't remove them and there could be a widget that you don't want so we do it the way the, the designer has specified so we need to go to layout and um, <clears throat> what I probably just I suggest also if you if it's if this is a blog that's um, active, I would change the title to a website under construction like that, um, and just change that, and just so people know, you can probably put a date. And so that should change there. Let's have a look. Website under construction. That's just to help people uh, know. And, and you can probably put a date when it will be back up. So um, also what you can do, a trick, while you are constructing this change this here and just use the my Google telephone. Uh, use Google which we are going to do and nothing will change for mobile phone users so mobile phone users will still be able to use your blog especially if you've got content on there so do that that's a good start and let's start removing all the widgets Okay, the next step, we've removed all the layer, that's uh, all gone. So we go to the theme. So go to your uh, theme forest file, double click on that, and this folder here will open up, and you'll be looking for that there, XML. Open that with a text edit on an Apple computer and the equivalent on a Windows computer. Shit about. Okay, so that's the that's it. Now, whatever you do, please don't bump anything here. Just gonna move that out of the way for a sec because we got to do something first, and we got to do this. We gotta wipe this out. Uh, well, well. Before I go, um, if you better just back up your. Let's go back to theme again. Just go up to back up and restore. If you wanna, you worry you might do something wrong, and download your theme. Just download that file. So if anything goes wrong, you can just upload that again, just the normal way. So. Just download that file onto your desktop somewhere. Uh, okay, so, but we're not, and then just upload it if something goes wrong. But we're not doing it that way. That's where you would normally do it with most things, but unfortunately, we're going to do it differently. We're going to actually remove the, 
the HTML code ourselves, which is all this. Here we go. Go all the way down <coughs> with your mouse. That's a big file. And just hit delete. So she's gone. No, I didn't think she was going to like that. Grab hold of, make sure you get every part of this code right there. Copy, or whatever you do. If you want to paste it in, copy and paste it another way. I'm just doing it this way. Let me have a look. Beautiful. So, exempt that there. Make sure that's on number one. And you can't go wrong. It should just paste in without making any errors anyhow. As long as you don't, when you, just make sure you don't touch that. Make sure you copy it, but don't move any of the code. In one little movement, you can whack the whole thing out and you have to start again. Save the theme. Okay. What happens when we do that? Let's check the front now. And this is what we've ended up with. All right. That's why I like this theme, it's the categories all down there and it's so suitable for the, the type of website I'm building. I need it because need it, it's, a, it's a directory. So let's move on. Okay, we just make sure you, you check with the temp, that your looks exactly like that and then you don't have, you shouldn't have any of your old widgets on there. Hopefully, um, and we we start moving. So the first section they want us to do is all that stuff. Okay, they want us to go into the navigation menus. All right, edit HTML. Uh, That probably, yep. Yeah. You can just go into jump widget HTML 16. It should bring you straight down to where we're going to change everything. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. That's exactly what they're asking. Um, so, see how they've got their name there? That's all got to be removed. You've got to put your URL in there. Uh, only up to the up to the dot com to the M. So let's grab my URL. Could have typed it in, but I'm a bit lazy. But we to do this. We do it this way. Okay, we're going to remove all these mag newses. Right up to there. And just drop that into there and make sure there's only one of those. So just get rid of that one there. Save that. The menus, um, bit of thinking, I must admit, to go into that. Um, I'll just do one or two just to give you an idea we won't spend too much because that's a bit of sorting out there so um let's hope i can see okay i've got all my categories there that one there grab that specific fair stores because i've got plenty of content on that one um, let's 
So you've got all these drop down menus. So there's going to be some you know, thinking to do, but um, don't think contact form should be there because you can just use a widget um, archive 404. You know, they're not real. I, I don't recommend putting them there, but um, I'll show you how to just put the code in anyhow. But I'm going to probably remove all those. Except for the menu bars, I don't want contact, uh, contact form uh, and all that stuff. Uh, I prefer that in the footer, not on your, not at the front of your website, for God's sake. Um, so we're going to put probably, uh, I'll give you an example. Okay, there's a contact form there. Let's grab that. So, get, grab that contact form there. Excuse me, my mistake on that, but I'm only human. Paste that in. So, paste that URL from my pages, which is already set up. <clears throat> and let's just refresh that for a second and see what happens. Okay, we've got our contact form set up. What you got to do, you got to make up some pages, like I did. So, you can put the about page, if you want to change some of those things, you can. Uh, there's my 404 page, oh, just let me have a look, I've got to change that code. 404 is that, paste. Save. Okay. Uh, that's so, uh, let's go to restaurants. And, and then see if we can put Japanese day in. Okay, so we'll just put restaurant. I think we'll stick to restaurant. So we'll just do one of those restaurants. Restaurants. Save for sick. Just refresh. Okay, there's restaurants. Okay. And I'll just do one and you get the ID. Japanese restaurant. Okay. Grab that. Click on that. Can you see this up here? Grab that code for Italian restaurant. Move mouse go back into there, and we have to stick just just there in there. Okay, let's jump. Let me have a look. No, that's got to go. That shouldn't be there. Uh, that's better. Save. And we just need to, instead of menu item, where it says menu item, put. Italian, or whatever your product is. So, that's how you do the menus. You change the code. You get the code. Click on the the click on the the what's the name on the on the category and get that code from there and stick it into their restaurants. Um, 
put the code there, just between that dot there, that there, and put a tag in between those two. Save. Restaurants drops down to Italian. See what happens. Italian restaurants. Nicolini, Portorini, Ah, there they sound like La Racatisca, a fresco. So they sound very Italian to me. So that's how you do your menus. Let's that's for day out. Okay. So what what are we doing? The how to add a recent post slider. Oh, this will be good. Get down your way. Go into here. So we are on our first one which is that one there at the top. This is your slider. Drop that code in. And do we have to start index? Value is your own number. Just click on that. See what happens. Ah. Ah. Oh, here we go. There we go. Here we go. There's our first one. So we've got our restaurant. We've got a tan. We've got, uh, we've got a contact form. So all those others are set up the same as the contact form. Got to make up a page, go into pages and make them up. We're now onto the slider. The slider has been completed. You just drop the code in and basically it just works. We move to the next one. Our that latest post. Which is number four, just there underneath the one we just done, and copy the following code and paste it into the context box. We will do that and see what happens. Latest post, we're going into here. Yeah, we'll look at that code, publish maximum post. Sorry. Beautiful. We go down next section. Latest post. We move on. <clears throat> okay, entertainment. Let me drag that back in so we can, you can see what we're doing. On entertainment, left hand. We want this. And we've got to change digital to whatever. Uh, niche we want to put in there uh, or product you want to display post from one two three four five change the start index value one as your own number oh you yeah, one there okay let's see what happens um because oh yeah i could probably 
entertainment that's in my niche just drop that code in there now just don't lose that for a sec I've got to show you how we get to change that um, that would look like it would have to be um, the exact words to make that work so is it I've got nightclub what was it for entertainment wasn't it uh, not went for nightclub sure I've got nightclub somewhere aha nightclubs so I've got to copy that there because the words would have to be exactly right or I'm sure it'd be case sensitive so entertainment now just where it says digital we have to type in or paste in the exact words because it probably won't work my club surface paradise that links up looks all right result for um, start let's see what happens So we got that, that, that. Ah, uh, the nightclubs. You for the nightclubs. Do that again. Okay, that would be pubs. Just move that there so I don't lose it again. And go back to if I got my window I have a pubs P P P P P Pubs Gold Coast okay so how many have I got oh heaps heaps okay grab that code no 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 we, that's right we're not using codes this is great format not having to use code uh, URLs go back into he and under digital change digital to pubs Gold Coast I just save that for a sec. All right, how to add full re recent post widget by label. And that's number seven, read number seven. Okay, technology. Is it the same thing again? I'll have a look in a sec. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to put here, but I'll think of something in a sec. Uh, maybe theme parks or something. Um, let me think this have a quick look. Uh, bar and Bay shops. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Big time. I grab them that so I make sure I've got exactly the same. I'm just grabbing that. Let's just go back over to here. So let's do that. Looks like the same code to me. So it could be. Let's see what happens when I do this. Paste that in. 
Why they shot? Save. I think we're almost, I think you get the picture with this now. Um, and we'll, we'll move on to something else that, that's the, that's, so you get the picture of that now. Okay, let's have a look where, what we're up to. So we've got latest post, nightclubs, Pub Scaldi, oh, Byron Bay. Just got to change that name. How to add recent gallery post widgets by label. I oh, grabbed this code. Copy. Change the name of really, it, I think. Um, drop that in. Convenience stores. Got plenty of them. We any of those. Okay. We only go to convenience stores. Gold Coast. Get that in. Oh, that looks right. Click on that. Save. Dates, I know that. Um, just oh, seven posts they recommend. But you can have your name there if you want. Uh, doesn't recommend ads, uh, they haven't got ads clicked. And uh, what else? No author is clicked on theirs. Um, reactions is not clicked. Maybe it doesn't work. Um, sometimes it doesn't work on some things, reactions. Uh, uh, links to the post, uh, it's up to you if you want five comments, so all that's that. As I said, he hasn't clicked on any ads. Um, okay. That's done now. Yeah. Uh, because I've got enough bits on there to... So we'll go back to logo now and just fix the logo up. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, get that down. Need to get that. Uh, let's put this image in. I only just made this image up to. Uh, where is my desktop? Where is it? I only just made that up to that logo. I'm not sure if it's the one I'm going to use. Let's have it works too. It worked. I think. Okay, guys. Um, we're up to the social share widget. We just have to drop that code in into follow us, and there's just a. So you drop that code in, and I'll open this up now. I've already done it to save time. You just need to put your URLs off your Facebook page, your Twitter. Um, see my photo, I'll just, I'll do this, I'll just show you. See there? You just go back to there and put your URL there for the Facebook. I think this was the best way I could do it to show you. 
and then you do the same for Twitter. So you just got to put your uh, replace. Where's that? You just got to replace those in black with your Twitter codes, Google Plus, and FeedBurner. Okay, close that. And you should get that. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, we need to get into this. Okay, so move back. We've done that. That's finished. Now, the, I'm not, this is a bit old, this, because, um, advertisements um, I personally think you do what I done with the advertisement and go back just use the original responsive or all, all, all the um, for the time being just to finish the project um, and then we had to add about page okay but, um, Copy following code and contact box. Just go down there. Okay, about us. Let me see. Okay. I've put that in and I've just written a bit about myself and and, and make sure you leave their code in. So just right between their code. So put my URL there and just in between their code you write something about yourself there leave all that other box so leave that make sure you don't touch that because you'll wreck the code up and it won't work so that's about page is done we move on okay again Easy. Let's get that over. So that's your popular post widget. I've put seven um, and I've put 30 days. And I'll show you there's a reason why I've done that. Save. So that's done. Uh, okay, the random post one. Again, uh, big code, monstrous code. I'm not using it. Uh, you can if you want. I prefer not to use it. Um, um, I've just used a, another popular post widget, the one that comes with Google, uh, Blogger, and I've changed it to last year. For the last year so the other one has 30 days and then this one has last year and i've put seven posts that then gives you all different um profiles as you can see see that they're not the same because of the year uh, or the months i'm using i like that better the other one just doesn't match so, sorry, I'm not using it. You can. I just don't like it. But you, simple as that, just stick it in there and that. But it just doesn't match. Um, okay, all this stuff, copyright. You have to go into the code to do this. Um, and then you've got a, should I show you? Would you know how to do this? This is into your code, you know. Oh, well, I have to, I suppose. We keep going. Um, so that's what we're looking like. That's what I've got. I'm happy with that. I really I'm trying to speed it up because this video is going to go for ages. Oh, do, 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 do. We've got to go into uh, copyright. Okay, um, go to hit CTRF on your keyboard and F, 
and you get that search box. CTRF, CTRF, click on, uh, use that on your keyboard, uh, and you'll get that search box. Get that code there, and this is a bit tricky, this stuff. Um, probably, you know, if you, just be careful. Be careful with this stuff because if you're not good with, all right, press enter. When you put that into the into the search box, and as you can see, it lights up in yellow. Um, I haven't done it yet because I'm going to have to show you how you do it. Okay, click over here. I've got to open another window here. You're going to have to go into pages, not post pages. Uh, and Adele, I couldn't think of his name. All right, watch this guy. This bloke's cool. Okay, all you have to do is put your name in Aussie Trek. Okay, city or country you do. Of a country that protects me right through. Okay, generate terms. Okay, so Aussie tricks. See how it's all done? Blah, 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 blah. And you just it's all terms of contract. Grab this. Go into pages. We're not going to put license, that's just, um, well, you can if you want, but I'm just showing you what you can do. But I'm going to do one, and then the rest you can just do yourself. Get rid of all that. Just put this whole code in there. Let's see what it looks like. Look at that. See, so, oh yeah, it's got everything. Um, privacy, uh, So it's got basically everything. You only have to do one. Um, grab that. Don't worry about that. So you can put that where license is. Uh, no, where privacy is, sorry. And you can move that out. Don't need that. Move that up. So... Put that there. I need to show you how I'm going to do one and get the idea what we're talking about. Save, publish. Okay, now I'll show you what you've got to do. I'll move this down so you can see what I'm doing. View. So there's our terms and conditions. You need to grab that code there. And don't, you don't even have to leave privacy there. It's already set up. So just here, stick that code in there. I'm just going to paste it in. Right, where to go? So let me have a look. So it's nice and plain there. That little thing has to be moved out there. So I can make up another page and license. I wouldn't even worry about license. I would probably just delete that. But. And the contact, you just make another one up too with your contact information. Same way. Um, all right. Let's move on. We've finished that. What have we got left? 
navigation bar for the footer. There all your uh, social media. You would need all you need all your social media codes to do this. Um, I'll probably just do one. What's how do we get then? Control F. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. All right, well, I've got this still open. We need to get that out of there. And I'll just bring this back over. We need to copy that there. Are they getting there? Almost finished, almost finished. And just hit enter. Okay, there they are there, right there, social media. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'll do one. I've got my code already set up. Um, I'll just do my Facebook one for the time being. Copy. We need to bring this back down into, for the video frame. Okay, so where are we? Facebook. Just need to drop my Facebook code URL. There. Um, give me a look. Well, something's not having me a look. Did that go in? Perfect. Let me. Uh, I might have to refresh for that to work. Did I hit save too? That was another thing. Oh yes, saved there. Yeah. Right, let, let's let refresh. Let's see if the Facebook one works. Okay, it worked. So that works. So all you have to do uh, is just grab your URL there. Copy it and stick it in that spot there. Same as with Google, same as Twitter, all the same. We move on. What's next? So that's social media finished. They're just a little buttons, no big deal. Oh, to add this following step. Okay. This was something that annoyed me. Um... When you open up the post, you've got all this crap. Uh, really, every time someone clicks on the post, you're going to get that. I didn't like it, and I removed it. If you want to do it, uh, um, I'll show you how to do it. Let's go back in here again. I, I really don't like that, uh, and uh, if you want to pitch your offer, I won't put me offer because if you do these days, man, there's so many people, if you make one mistake, like if someone says you've got a photo that's theirs that you could, you know, they don't let any people know where you live, man, be very careful. So that's there, you've got a picture of author info. Um, I've already removed it, so so that's going to throw you off a bit. Um, so it was all that there was in here, in front of the P, see the P there? I removed it all. I just fought it. So I removed it, and it's just where that please. Um, and go back again just in case you didn't see it. And just between there, the five, the five there, you can put your name. Think about it. Oh. 
Trish. But I wouldn't have social links going straight to um, to your personal pages. No way in the world would I do that. I just I what would I would do there? I would just put your uh, normal um, the ones that go to your uh, business pages, like down there. Do the same just there. Just stick them in there and. So, so that's just there, which we've done. So that's your author. Where are we at now? Control F. Search for the following link. Whoa. Didn't know that was there. We need to just go down there. I get my URL, and we need to get rid of it. And I bet I want it. I'm not gonna do it different. So they want us to change the yellow. We'll change the yellow. Paste. We got a double M at the there. So. Aussie Trek, let me have a look, www, search label, that's the archive, don't know how, what, how, what, well, congratulations people, we are finished, look, we're, we're finished, this is done, congratulations, that's, we've finished the website, that's what we've come up with, we just used the Google uh, AdSense ads, makes it easy. They can't will come on straight away. Um, I put two of these in. I liked it. I I, put, I don't. I like that down the bottom. The footer. I changed the color of the footer. Um, so that's it. We're finished. Oh, um, like that. I changed the footer color to blue instead of black, which you can do. So we're we're finished. Um, this will all be put onto my website. It is a bit confusing uh, if you're a newbie. And it'll be easy if you go to my website and I'll do it section by section. If you just want to watch the video, just watch the video. I hope I've helped you. Um, have an amazing day. It was great. Uh, it was great to go on this journey with you. <laughs>